Hey everyone, uh, so this is part two of uh, how I make games in C. So we're starting off with pretty much what we had last time. Got the uh, particle bond system. Uh, just kind of makes a big mesh of particles. So I'm going to try and add in uh, player input and uh, move around this kind of highlighted particle here. So if we look at the new files. I've got a player.c and h file. So the uh, player struct basically just has whether it's active, the particle number, and uh, the button status. And then uh, we have an input function here, which just gets the inputs from the keyboard right now and sets the player buttons to uh, what they need to be. Okay, so we're going to uh, Called get inputs function uh, right here. I'm just going to hard code it to player zero right now. And uh, after that, we'll have to run the player simulation, which uh, checks the inputs and is going to add some velocity to the particle, hopefully. Let's see if this works. So it got stuck pretty quickly, but you can see it's moving a little bit. All right, let's put in uh, left and right. Still get stuck pretty easily. But I can kind of move this around even though it's just one particle. So you might be wondering why have this get inputs function and like the player struct. Why not just move the particle around directly? And uh, the advantage to this is you can you know, you can do multiplayer, so we can have multiple players and just send the inputs to the server if we want to do it that way, or um, even local multiplayer. It's a lot easier if you just have like one function, gets all the players' inputs, and then you can just deal with those in the simulation, like in the particle simulation here. Also, we can do stuff like make it so, you know, if you press a key, you can. Uh, Change the player's particle number. So we can move that around and uh, see if that works. So we're moving this one. Now we're over here. Alright, so if we look at the uh, particle uh, file, we can see that some of this has changed a bit. Um, instead of just adding one to the number of particles, now we're getting the next particle. So there's a, now an active variable in the particle struct, and uh, that just keeps track if, if that particle's active. And uh, the reason we're doing this is it makes it a lot easier when you're deleting entities in their link to other entities because the uh, index of that particle won't change. Okay, so if we look at the uh, delete particle function, we can see that all we have to do is just set active to zero. And uh, that way when it loops through, 
it'll just skip that one um, and it doesn't have to affect any other particles whereas if you're just keeping track of the number of particles you have to copy the last one into the new open position and uh, then you have to make sure everything that's linked to that is also updated whereas this you just set this to zero so it can be kind of slow I mean it seems like really slow but you know on a modern computer it's not that doesn't take that much time to loop through 32,000 times even if you don't need to but if you have something like this where you're looping through twice or you know exponentially you do want to keep track of like the last active particle so that's what I have here last particle num and so when you delete a particle you just have to check if it is the last particle if so then just keep going down until you find the last active one uh, and then we loop through all the bonds all the active bonds and see if they're linked to that particle and if so we just delete the bond which is kind of the same thing just set it to uh, zero so let's try this out let's um, delete some particles if they go off a certain amount So if I push them over this way, I'll start deleting them. Even if I delete the one that I'm controlling, you know, it's not going to cause any problems because it's just going to be affecting memory that's, you know, still there but not doing anything. So it can reset again try and see how many I can delete without deleting my own Alright, so one more thing I want to try is um, keeping track of which particle, which bonds are attached to each particle. So first I'm going to make a define for let's say that we could do 32 per particle.
Okay, I think this might work. We'll have to see. Yeah, it looks like that's working. Make it even longer. That might be a little much. See if it works. It should work even if some of these get deleted. You can see like the physics start to um, break down a bit when there's too many bonds connected to one particle like this. But yeah, looks like that worked. All right, I think I'll wrap up this video here. Um, if you want to support me, you can buy support by games. Uh, Pond Effect Zero uh, just came out recently. It's on itch. I'll put a link in the description. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll try to make some more videos.